right, let's see. Volume one, Rebirth. Volume two, Reminiscence. Redemption. Reconnection. Mm mm mm. A parody mode. All right, well. <clears throat> What's up guys, it's your boy Black Magic XD and we're about to play something called Hack GU Last Recode. Um This game well this franchise is Shay it's actually pretty old. Um but I myself have never played it. So all these things have just been remastered and put into a collection. And I was like, you know what, it looks pretty dope. I should probably play it so why not play it so obviously you gotta start out with that that volume one because otherwise you're just stupid yeah new game normal game or cheat? what to do is cheat mode recommended for those who played hack GU or those who only wants to enjoy the story. You know, I mean, I do want to enjoy the story, but I mean, like, not nah, just normal game. I wonder if that was a function that was in the previous ones. Pretty colors. <laughs> well, hello there. Who are you? Oh, I was probably the dude on the front cover. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's him. The world, Eternal City Mac Anu, a dazzling, tw what did it say, a dazzling twilight something? It's like a, a church or something, maybe. Just an old building. Wow, this is cool. Hey. Who the deuce is hey, that is you kid back there? You the adept rogue. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> we gotta start a fight. So, I take it this is your first time playing this game. Uh, oh. Yeah. I just finished installing it to my PC. Um, P4, actually? Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh... All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Your ooh, Io ten, Asta. Hmm. Asta's the edgy dude. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. In the world. Short mail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. All right, so let's open the menu. 
but I don't want you to join my party. Well, maybe Io Ten, cause she's all right. Not you, Asta. Select party. I would add that. There you go. This is a list of all the people who have a member address. <laughs> Okay, let's have some fun. Oh, your IO turn. I am honored to lend you my sword. Okay, great. Now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? Yeah, oh, yes. Ooh, what a. Yeah. Head to the safe shop before going on an adventure. Talk to the safe shop clerk and choose save from the menu to save your progress in the game. Oh, he runs pretty fast. Cool, yeah. First cry. Interesting. After the preparations are complete, use the Chaos Gate to go on the adventure. Onward to adventure. Who are you? Are you? I am a noob. What to do ya? The thing I love about online games is getting to meet all sorts of people. Well, this is the main trading screen. You can trade by selecting up to five items in each window. Well, I have no items, so, um, it's a dub. What about you, sir? Oh, Nova, nice to meet you. Are you going on an adventure now? I am, indeed. Anybody else you gotta talk to? No. Onward to adventure, for real this, this time. This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Choose warp menu. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. Okay. So root towns, fields, and dungeons. Makes sense. You can sense. warp to these areas by combining oh, three town. words at the chaos gate. These words determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. All right. Mm. Let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. This is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, and forums. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Okay. Choose courageous from your stock. All right. We did courageous. Um. Uh oh. Engaging. engaging. Okay. Now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? Yeah. What is that? Just to try for us about the other triangle. That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Oh. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. Wow. Ah, okay. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. Mm -hmm. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Okay. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. All right. Then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. A Courageous Engaging Daydream does sound pretty freaking lit. You put a Delta in front of that, it's over. It's a nice code word, code name for an operation. So, we've all been transported to a field. Open your map to take a look at the layout.
I don't know why these people are helping me. But this is the area. It's not nice. This is the area map. All right. A nice, simple layout. Those um, altars and beast statues look pretty interesting. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. Yeah, what is our mission? Go ahead and press X. This Co is our Damn. mission. Collect the number of symbol fragments required for this area. Currently in possession, zero out Missions of three. Missions are basically, um, well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. But really? It looks like this is a collection mission. Mm hmm. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. Mm, the, the symbol beast fragments temple. are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. These are the altar icons. I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Oh, you yeah, have like me now, some treasure. This is the icon for the Beast Temple, which is our final destination. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way. Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more thing. Oh, is it an important thing? Because, um, I'm not trying to die out here, fam. Use this transport to return to town after completing the area's mission. It's also got a healing function called Platform Rest, which you can use once in the area. Use it when you're low on HP and SP. Okay, this time let's really get going. If you're unsure where the Beast Temple or the Altars are, just press touchpad to check the map here. Yeah. Oh. Hmm, graphics look pretty freaking good. Well, I want to see them run too. You follow the leader. Oh, it tracks your footsteps? Oh, that's nice. So I'm not going to get lost. Nice! We found an altar already. Well, who are you? Perform a surprise attack by approaching the monsters around the altar without being seen, and press X when the target cursor appears. Oh uh, yeah, let's go all the way around, yeah. You ain't gonna do nothing. What you gonna do, fam? Good, now press X for a surprise attack. Your life belongs to me! Once the battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. Okay, I like that. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. Virtually impossible. So it's possible. The only way to escape from the battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Mm -hmm. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. Hey, you're not too bad. Not so difficult, huh? Yeah, that is that the only hold down X and release it when the gauge is full. Charge attacks are effective even against enemies that are guarding. Yeah, keep it up. He kind of sounds like Sasuke a little bit. That's it. Just continue fighting like that. Okay, yeah, let's look at these controls, cause um, is it really just X and circle? Huh, well these, these are basic controls, so regular, combo, charge, guard. Huh. Got the finishing blow. I'm guessing GP is the currency. Um, sometimes the treasure chest on the top of the altars will contain symbol fragments needed to open the beast temple. Remember to search treasure chests after defeating the monsters around the altars. 
collect three symbol fragments by opening all the treasure chests on altars. The symbol fragments are used to open the temple gate. Search the treasure chest on top of the altar. I will, thank you very much. Cause I like treasure. Oh, it's one of those things where you have to kick open the treasure chest to get it. Acquire the first simple <clears throat> symbol fragment. Head for the next altar to the east. Check the map for directions. I don't need no stinking directions. Okay, so we came from that way. So let's go over here. All right, we found another altar. I'll teach you about using skills to attack. Oh, ooh, so there is more to it. Perform a surprise attack. Okay. Are they looking in different directions? No, they're just looking towards us right now. Oh, they're looking in that direction. Okay, got you. My sword fears nothing! The regular and combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. Okay, good, good, good. Skills on that. enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Yeah, they do. Skills are powerful attacks that require SP skill points to, to perform. Press triangle to open the main menu and select skill to open the skill list. The skill trigger is a shortcut for performing skills. R1 to open the skill trigger menu. Gale okay, Blade. What you see here is the skill trigger menu. Oh, so that's why my guy used Ogre Blade. Do you see the four panels? Yeah. You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Now try it out by using the arts. Gale Blade. I mean, only I have Gale Blade. Blade. We'll right. get wrecked. Perfect. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks. Or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. Hmm, okay. Aren't you forgetting Combos. something important, EO10? EO10, not I. There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Ooh, Rengeki. Rengeki is an advanced skill attack with an increased amount of inflicted damage. To perform Rengeki, use a skill attack where an enemy is surrounded by a blue and purple ring. It appears continuously when inflicted with damage. After the enemy, no, attack the enemy until it is surrounded by blue and purple rings. Favorite action is triggered when Rengeki is used for other condition. Wait, favorite action is triggered when Rengeki is used or other conditions are met. It raises the morale of your party members and will allow you to execute more powerful attacks. Conditions for favorite action vary with each party member. There you go. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? I do want to play. That's a good idea. All right, Haseo. <clears throat> it's all up to you now. Haseo? What the deuce is that? Is that my name? Trigger gauge will appear above the player's head. When the skill trigger is used, it is not possible to use <clears throat> items or skills until this gauge fills up and R1 appears. No, time out. I did not choose you. There you go. So that's it, huh? Ooh, Rengeki bonus. I got a health drink. Okay. Half a all right, if we we're gonna go this way. Right. 
the final altar. Remember what EO10 and Asta have taught you, and acquire the item without a treasure chest. Yeah, that treasure's mine. Who wants it? Who needs it? This will be quick. Oh, so I can't. Yeah. I <clears throat> oh, they heal me. So I can at least rely on the NPCs to freaking heal me. Should be level two. There you go, level two. Oh no, no level up bonus. So you just level up. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want the treasure. The judge's symbol. Awesome job! All right, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. You don't have any eyes. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you. I don't like that you don't have eyes. Well, I do, but no. Mm. Mm. So, are there? No. I'm gonna assume they're gonna be like monsters that roam around places. Cause, um, I'm pretty sure it's just not like that here. Cause this is, uh, still pretty much a tutorial. Ooh. Oh no, that, that's the Chaos Gate. I went the wrong way. Um, I don't need that. I might need the map. Okay. Oh, no, it's to my right. Oh, there's another Chaos Gate over here, anyway. Hey, where are you going? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's fight this beast. That's a pretty look, cool looking st uh, statue. This is a statue of Fulset, the god of law. We just call it the Beast Statue. But I think in the game story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. You see that treasure box? That's the offering to the Beast Statue. Mm -hmm. There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Okay. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. So Haseo sure. is my name. Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. I don't know if Haseo was shot like brought up somewhere, and I'm just stupid. A dry sash. What can I get? A moist one. Um, I don't know if a sale was mentioned anywhere, but Thanks. I freaking knew it. Yeah. What the? the items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> uh, um. I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. Face it. An idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. And hey, hold on. I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? Damn, Asta. I was thinking you were a little good looking. Chill, what you doing with a sword like that? I forgot my guy's name already. It's it's not Hideo. It's 
Ooh. Nice features. Get up. They just taught you how to fight, fam. Get up and fight. Might I have a stroke? What just happened? How pathetic. <laughs> that is pretty pathetic. I'm not even gonna try and like save you. <laughs> well what do you expect from a noob who's just logged in for the first time? Ooh, ooh. Oh, come on. Say something already. Hello. <laughs> Who are you? Just pretend to be their friend. They fall all over themselves to let you PK them. <laughs> hey, you're still around, aren't you, kid? Get wrecked. Huh? What the? My guy's knocked out cold. He just blanked out. You know what makes it worse? The fact that. Mm -hmm, well, no. I don't know how the game mechanics work. I don't mean like this hack GU thing. I mean like the game that these people are playing. If it's realistic enough for this guy to actually blank out, that I guess this virtual body is connected to the real one. Welcome to the world. Wow. This man is Jesus. Thank you.